Good morning. I hope you're enjoying all the snow that we're getting today, and I hope we're going to get a lot more. So today in the clubhouse, we welcome Snowflake Princess Anya. Since we are desperately wanting a lot of snow this winter, I thought we needed an extra boost to make it all happen. And Anya will sing Winter Wonderland, hopefully make the skies just drop some snow on us. So keep all your fingers and your toes crossed that we will get tons of snow. Okay, Anya. Sleigh bells ring, are you listening? In the lane, snow is glistening. A beautiful sight, we're happy tonight. Walking in a winter wonderland. Gone away is the bluebird, here to stay is the new bird. He sings a love song as we go along, walking in a winter wonderland. In the meadow we could build a snowman, and pretend that he's Parson Brown. He'll say, are you married? We'll say, no. Man, but you can do the job when you're in town. Later on, we'll conspire as we dream by the fire. To face unafraid the plans that we made, walking in a winter wonderland. In the meadow, we could build a snowman and pretend that he's a circus clown. We'll have lots of fun with Mr. Snowman until the other kitties knock him down. Ooh, when it snows, ain't it thrilling? Though your nose gets a chillin'. We'll frolic and play the Eskimo way. Walking in a winter wonderland. Walking in a winter wonderland. Walking in a winter wonderland. <laughs> wow, Anya, <laughs> you've got the magic voice to make it snow. <laughs> yes, I do. And luckily, you got lucky. I got lucky because you sang. All right, have a seat. <laughs> That was amazing. Today's message is titled, Love is Serving Others. Last Sunday, we talked about love is helping others. Well, last Sunday, January 24th, we kicked off a new weekly children's program in the big cafeteria at 11 o'clock. It was great to see so many of you. We haven't seen you since March, so it was wonderful to see you back in the building again. And I am happy to be able to offer a safe way for us to be back in this building. We had a blast being together, and your parents were so grateful to attend, to attend church with other grown-ups. Many of our teachers were in the cafeteria with us. Look at us in there. We had so much fun. We spread out. We had sibling stations. We have crafts, music. Uh, we, we sang songs and danced and ran around and, and just had a great time. Barbara Strickland was there, our kindergarten first grade teacher. Kathy Crowder, our second and third grade, one of our second and third grade teachers. Look at this picture with Mark Dodge, our, one of our fourth and fifth grade teachers for the boys' class. And he's standing there with Caleb. This was a great picture. And let's see, we got Karina Chan, uh, fourth and fifth grade girls teacher, and Stephanie Welchel, which is also a helper and teacher in kindergarten and first grade. And Amy Sue was there. She's one of the teachers with the threes and fours. Well, our stations, our sibling stations that we called them, they were managed by our, by our amazing youth team. Luke and Jacob Taylor, Bobby and Bryson Hannafin. <laughs> this is, this is uh, Luke, Luke Taylor. He's helping Miss Eva. And then we had Crystal Fitzgerald. She's helping, helping Cassidy. Abby, Bella, and Chloe Howe. And Ashley Carranza. 
and Sandra Martinez. Just a lot of helpers. It was amazing how all these youth and all these grown-ups came out to make sure that these kids had fun. Well, a wonderful thing happened during a beautiful song being sung by our youth director, Sam, in this picture. There in the middle of the floor stood tiny three-year-old Avery Darlene. She swayed back and forth with her eyes closed, praising God as Sam was singing that beautiful song. My heart overflowed with joy at seeing this moment unfold, and I will never forget the purity of it. A three-year-old praising God. I, I just love it. Another great moment happened when we let others sing whatever they wanted to sing. This one made us laugh. Dominic Steinbach, another three-year-old, seems like the three-year-olds are taking over the place, who goes by the nickname Dude, sang a perfect round of Baby Shark. Of course, that song is now stuck in all of our heads. As I think of what it means to represent love is serving others, I think of all the people who made last Sunday happen. It's a bunch of folks connected by the love of God and love for each other, which makes serving others an act of love. So now the Snow Princess will read our scripture. Thank you. God has given each of us a gift from his great variety of spiritual gifts. Use them well to serve one another. First Peter 4.10. Thank you, Snow Princess. We have had so much fun with you in the clubhouse. And again, we hope that you enjoy all the real snow that you're getting right now. And that will probably get Monday and Tuesday and the rest of winter. So, Miss Snowflake Princess, shall we say goodbye to everyone real quick? Goodbye. Bye, everyone. See you soon.